because you've been part of all five seasons. Um, what are you most looking forward to with the new season? What's kind of like the mood or the feel? I know you can't give away details, or they'll get crazy, but what's kind of like the mood or feel that fans are going to get this season? The feeling that I felt when I read the first 501 script was it's reminiscent of season one and two of Teen Wolf. We've been growing a lot as, uh, as plot lines and could become part of the show and people become part of the show and the grass gets bigger. I feel like we're sort of, you know, minimizing the Big Bang again. It's, 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 it's starting to come into its own and to, to then get bigger. So I feel like it's reminiscent it, of season one and two, that it's a lot of Coke bottle episodes, a lot of uh, more relationship based conversations, not exposition based conversations. So it's just reminiscent of, of that old friend feeling, which is why I would really appreciate. Yeah, season four was a big season for you about the Banshees, the supernatural and stuff. Um, you know, people kind of got some answers to season four. What are some of the answers that might get answered season five? Or what are some things that your character is going to kind of deal with on season four? Movement. I have stunts this season. So there's another aspect to her... I don't know if it's even supernatural. There's a different aspect to her behavior this season. I can say that, and uh, she gets she gets in on the physical action, which I'm I'm proud of. <laughs> One of the, the sad things is we got the news that Tyler obviously isn't going to be um, a full time character this season. Um, as being one of the original from the the first five seasons, how is it when you kind of lose a member? Because you lose some of the originals. How how does that kind of change the mood on? Well, I'm I'm good friends with everyone since the, uh, from the beginning of, of the show, so I see them on a pretty regular basis. Yeah, this is not different, but... It's not different. Tyler's, he's always been like a he's, you know, brother from another mother. <laughs> so it's it's not a it's not a it's not a change for me. <laughs> if you weren't on the show and you're watching the show, what other character would you want to play, or what other characters do you think their storyline or their action kind of sequences would be cool to kind of try? Out? I've always said Coach. <laughs> I love Coach. If I had a whistle, yeah. there's a reason why Lydia does not have a whistle. Things would get out of control. You'd just be blowing it the whole side. You're like, so Correction. There's a reason Holland doesn't have a whistle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then lastly, oh, can you tell us like a fun moment on set or just some time that like the cameras stopped rolling, you guys were just cracking up, something entertaining that we don't get to see? There are so many like fart jokes between <laughs> Tyler and Dylan that I wish I could say have, you know, at least de de regressed or decreased since they were 18 and <laughs> that really hasn't happened. <laughs> they've boys grown, will be boys. Yeah, they've grown up in a plethora of ways, but that's the one area they haven't really... So probably that's by season the end of season five they'll grow, right? <laughs> probably not at this point. No. They're adults. They're, they're, no. <laughs> they'll always be like the fart jokes. Like right until action. Like ah they're still finishing that joke. It's funny.